Hey guys, Jamie and today on Roblox, we're playing some more Lumion Legacy, as you can see on the screen right now. So today, also using Tableau Tile, I'm going to show you how to get every single Lumion within the Sephirite City update. Also, I'm going to go in Lumidex order, just make it as easy to follow as possible. Um, also, I should mention this video might be a little bit on the longer side, because some of the new Lumions have a couple of different new methods on how to evolve. And because of how many people are confused in my live stream, I want to take a little bit of time to try and explain them as much as possible as quickly as possible also if you are confused feel free to leave a, com a comment down below and ask me for help and i'll try and get to it um so yeah all in that low let's get straight into it although if you do like the video feel free to leave a like okay it helps the channel out immensely and also if you are new to the channel and you play a lot of Lumen legacy i record a lot of Lumen legacy why not subscribe you can always unsubscribe if you don't want to stay subscribed later on okay but we're trying to hit 100k we're on the grind right now Especially with a brand new update. So anyway, just jump straight into it, Len. And let's start off with the roaches for the new update, which also have the bug types. Basically, everything in the game or the update is a metal type, except from one Lumion line, which is the Burr Roach. For the Burr Roach, is a cockroach Lumion. It evolves into Garbantis. For this um, cockroach Lumion, you basically want to come on to Route 7. Also, the separate city is here. Just come back around. And you can find it in this patch of grass right here this is the only patch of grass on route 7 um also there is this patch of grass down here but this isn't actually route 7 this is called the um either the scrap yard or the junkyard so it's like classified as a different area but basically you can find this cockroach in both of these areas and that is only it once you catch it low to evolve it you just want to proceed to a level it up to 26 and then also you'll get the garbantis a fairly easy one just a lot of leveling ones most of them are just actually completely level based if it's from two of them but again like i said they're a little confusing for some people so i'll try and explain them so anyway next up is going to be a wimpar okay so for wimpar again we want to go to route 7 it's actually going to be in these patches of grass that we just uh, explained a second ago for route 7 it is not found in this patch of grass down here. Like I said, this is classified as a different area, but Wimpar is going to be found in these two patches of grass. It is a little uncommon. I think it's about 1 in 10, although once you capture it, unfortunately, it right now is probably one of the most annoying Lumians to try and evolve uh, because it involves friendship. I, when I was evolving mine, I leveled my Wimpar all the way up to level 40, and then also I needed to run around in circles to get my friendship up even more and once my friendship was max i couldn't actually level up anymore so i couldn't evolve it so i had to actually trade someone for a power fruit because i didn't have any left so basically if you're gonna get stratosaur i would say either don't level up your wimpor or if you are gonna level it up leave it at level 39 so also you can level it up one more time for when it is a maxed friendship but basically if you don't know how you can level up or if, if you don't know how you can boost your friendship without battling you actually just want to like make sure it's following you around so you can just make sure, make it in your first slot of your party as you can tell now it's following me around just run around in circles it sounds dumb but just do this it can take a long time also what we want to do is we want to like keep checking it and also you'll see that the face right now is like smiling and it's got like a little gleam on the um, the teeth which means it's a static the static is basically like it's the max friendship or it's very very close to the max friendship if it's just a normal smile um, then also it's not like really close so you gotta run around a lot but once it's a static it's still probably safe enough to start leveling up to uh, that one more level and then it should evolve and also they can kind of tell when it's friendship is maxed out because there is also part of a mass trip although it only applies to the first one i guess but yeah you can kind of tell when it is maxed out so yeah it's kind of annoying but like i said run around in circles if you are going to level up to level 40, be aware that you are going to have to use a power fruit to actually evolve it once it is maxed out on friendship, so be careful of this. But anyway, that is Strato Rus. Stratosaur. I forgot to for a second. Anyway, next up is going to be. Okay, then. So next up. Okay, so next up is going to be Tariti, which also is like the Graffiti Lumion, which is also is actually really, really cool. A lot of people have been asking me to showcase this one on the how to get this one, especially my streams. It's also going to go over in this one, so hey, there you are. So also this one evolves into Diabog, but to get this one, it's a little bit different. It's actually not found in any patch of grass, which again is actually fairly unique. Got quite a lot of unique things in this update with also the, the, um, the 
evolution method that requires you to have friendship, the one that requires you to have no level requirements at all, and it's actually way completely different from the drone, which also I'll get into in a second, but for this one, you actually need to find it in Route 7, although it's only during the night, as you can tell it's actually night, but for this one, you actually want to look around for the graffiti art on the wall, so there's actually like, I think, seven spots, there's four right in here as you can tell, and then there's another three, so also you can come here, as you can see, oh, there's nothing at that one, there's nothing at this legacy one, there's nothing at those two, then there are actually three more spots, Next one might be another one that I'm not too sure, but also you can tell there is another Wii Vault, another Legacy, and then at the very beginning of Route uh, 7 is going to be this one, Legacy, which also the, um, the Territi did not spawn it. So what we have to do is we basically have to like reset the area. So also you can soft reset it by leaving the server and rejoin the server. This is a lot quicker option. Just leave the chunk, like go into Sephirite, for example, or into Route 6 and just re-enter it. I would prefer, uh, for, for my preference, I prefer going to the Sephirite one because you can just see four um, graffiti straight away. It doesn't matter about like visiting all of them, also just trying to like do this as quick as possible so also I can come out again. Okay, there's nothing at the Ikazune one, nothing at that legacy one. I can come check over here, nothing at either of those. So hey, what I'm going to do, just do it again. So for this one as well, I believe it is a 1 in 10 chance for it to even spawn, so again, it might take you quite a little while, especially for the mastery, because you have to catch five of them. I don't know why you have to catch five of them, but you have to catch five of them for the mastery. Again, nothing at the Ikazune, nothing at that Legacy. Come over to this one, nothing here. Again, there could be one of the other ones, but for me, you get to like see four spray, uh, spray paints like straight away, so I only just stick to these four. It's way easier rather than having to like roam across the entirety of Route 7 just to find out that oh there's nothing here so i mean you can if you want it doesn't really matter also if you find it at the end of the day it doesn't really matter but as you can tell you have to like just potentially like a few times so i'm gonna like speed this part up until i actually get one so i guess i'll speed it up okay then and actually of course it will happen the next turn so yeah pretty sure only one of them can spawn at the time so if you see one there won't be any like more on the route it'll be one as you can tell if you walk up to it, it's just going to be a little Lumion just spray painting and tagging up the entire Route 7. So also once you see him, you can basically just click on him. Also then he'll challenge you to battle. You can capture it, you can run away, whatever. Also I'm just going to run away because I've already caught like 5 of them. You don't need any more. Once you've done like caught 5 of them though, you don't really need to like hunt for him anymore unless you want the Gamma version. Um, also you can just rally him for the Alpha one, but for the Gamma one, you actually need to keep doing this for the, in the wild, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, basically though, that is for the... Um, Terit, I always pronounce it wrong, it's like graffiti but with a T, so Terit, but to evolve it into Diabog, you want to level up to level 30, and it's actually a pretty cool Lumion, it actually has a mount as well, so once you actually unlock this Diabog, you can go and actually go buy the mount if you want it for 100 Robux, so yeah, that is how to get Diabog low, so next up is going to be the Obsidigons of this update. Okay, so next up is going to be the Upper Raptor, and also this one evolves into two different Lumions. This is basically the Obsidragon of this uh, update, so basically it evolves into Con Creedon, and then it also will evolve again into the Tyrex. For this one, it is very very similar to the, um, the Wimpo one, although instead of being up here, it is only down in this area down here. This one again is actually the Rare, so very similar to Igneal, I believe this is 1 in 50, so a 2% like chance to encounter it so pretty uncommon like very uncommon i should say also the second most rarest thing in the game uh, in this update compared to the roamer with the roamer also being the first and then this being the second so it might take you a while to actually find it so what i would probably suggest is doing the storyline first to unlock the roamer so you can also hunt for the new roamer at the same time that you're trying to hunt for this um really rare thing so but anyway but once you actually do get it you want to go, go ahead and get it to level 28 this will evolve it into the second farm, which again is a uh, Concredon. Once it is there, you want to then level up to level 40, which also right now is the max level cap, which will also let you evolve it into Tyrex. So again, if you cancel the evolution process once it is going ha happening for the Tyrex, if you cancel it, again you have to use a power fruit similar to the um, the Stratosaur. So yeah, kind of annoying. So be careful, I guess, if you are gonna level up. Don't go anywhere near the a cancel button also make sure that your internet's actually good because if you disconnect it might actually cancel it as well so yeah but anyway that is it for tyrex kind of easy but it could take you a while 
Especially seeing how it can also take you a long time to level up as well. So anyway, moving on now. Okay, then next up is going to be Trumpactor and its evolution Munch Wheel. So for um, Trumpactor, again, very similar to the bug. It can be found in both Route 7 and in the um, junkyard down here. So very easy again. It's actually very, very common as well. You probably already know where it is by the time the video actually goes up. And you're just trying to figure out how to get some of the rarer ones, but also just including them all in general. Just make it a lot easier for like newer players that also haven't played separate yet. So yeah, again, similar to the bug, but like the exact same as the bug. Very common. Again, you probably already found it by the time that you're actually watching this. But to evolve it into the um, lunch wheel, you want to go ahead and level it up to level 28. I'm just double checking. Yes, 28. <laughs> I had to just double check there to make sure. So, yeah. Also, once you get it to Trump Pack to level 28, it'll evolve into Munch Wheel. And there you are. You got yourself Munch Wheel. Very easy. Also, then now moving on to the drones, which is some of the complicated ones. So, this might take a while. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, then. And next up is going to be the drones. Like I said, this is going to be Scob. Also, the tiny one that we saw in the poster, very, very cool. That also will evolve into Valens, and then it will then continue and evolve into Gad Drone. Although, there's something special about these one, these Lumians. They do not get any moves by leveling them up, or also they don't evolve when you also level them up. It is actually a completely new system for these ones, just dedicated to these Lumians specifically. There's also the, 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 they are man-made, but then again, I guess like a lot of the machine ones are. So anyway. For this one, we want to actually go ahead and go to the blue car. Uh, basically, you need to do like basically a lot of the storyline to even attempt to be able to do these, okay? So basically, do the storyline, go to the battle theater, then also go to like the blue cop, do all of like the cutscene stuff, and then also you'll get to this part where there'll be a guy standing standing in front of here. You can go to the sushi area, you'll, you'll pick up some sushi, and also you'll give it to him, then he'll let you pass. Well, he won't let you pass, but he runs away, so then you can pass. You come down here, there'll be an NPC saying, ha, you can't get in, although Jake actually gave you a keycard, so you can go in, and this is actually where you get the drones. They are completely littered in here, so yes. Although, I will say, if, like, if you're going to go here for the storyline, if you haven't done it already yet, when you find the drones, I would actually recommend to faint them, not to run away from them immediately. I'm going to do it also because... I've already done it and I, I, for the video. There's gonna be a lot of uh, guards down here again, so you have to like battle a lot of um, trainers. Um, also, this is where you get the pooch as well, which I'll get into in a second, okay? But yeah, for the drones, once you actually KO them, they'll actually drop you some things. Also, the pooches do as well. So, anything in this building, when you KO it, will drop you something. Those are the only two Lumians, unless you find the rumor in here. Obviously, you can find rumors anywhere. This is also anywhere. But basically, um, once you actually like have enough parts, you can actually come to this area, which is the zero two room. As you saw, I only took a left and I took the first door. You can talk to this NPC over here, and he'll say, "Hey, if you bring me parts, I can upgrade your Lumians." Although also he's only talking about um, Scob right here. So I'll quickly actually show you that if I kill this one, I'll actually get a um, a item. So I'm gonna quickly just reflection burst, and there we are. And then it's completely random where it gives you also the different items are for different things. For example, it can learn all of the elemental types, for example, ice, fire, and electric type moves. There's some like calls that you can tell are either yellow, red, or blue, and those are also for the moves. But basically, talk to him, say, hey, I want to upgrade my Lumion, so I want to go to Scob. And you can see that, oh, it says here now there is a upgrade. I'm actually going to move my webcam, so um, yeah, let me quickly remove that. So you can actually see here it says evolve and then also there's actually some moves so for the evolve one you can click on it it says oh you need these items you need a power car and spare cables you can tell i actually have enough spare cables but i don't have a power car which actually is a kind of rare materials to find so that means i've just got to basically go around and kill a bunch of scobs in the wild until i actually get one and then you can do evolve it and you can do the exact same thing depending on what items it wants you for the final form once you actually have the final form it won't give you another option to evolve it, obviously, because you've evolved it to the max, but basically, you can still upgrade it, and then you get access to all of its movesets. So it's kind of similar to like just the move relearner, I guess, just that you can't evolve it by leveling up, and you can't get any new moves by leveling up. It only has Bash, or as you can tell, it has like Frost Beam, Fire Breath, and Thunder Strike. Just like a quick tip, I guess, for people that are trying to like do the mastery. Um, if you are going to like do the mastery, I would probably recommend like going for the lowest tier ones, just so you don't actually one-shot everything. 
um, and can easily like, get the burns and stuff. Although I should also mention that there actually is a pretty damn good fire type move in here, which is called Raging Flame. This one is a pretty low base power move, it's 50 strength, it's like a tackle move basically, but it has a 50% chance to burn, so if you want to try and do that one for the mastery, this might be like the a good choice to actually go for. So with that being said, that's basically how to get Scorb and evolve it. It's kind of like a, a tedious process because it takes quite a long time, although it definitely is a pretty good reward because the drone is very strong, having access to metal moves, ice type moves, so it can hit all the ground types it's weak to. It has fire types, so it can hit all of the fire, uh, the other metal types that would otherwise resist it. And it also has electric type moves, which would also be able to hit, again, metal types. Also, it can allow it to hit stuff like air, that naturally it has ice, I guess, for as well. But also, the electric lets it hit water, which otherwise metal is resisted by water. So yeah, again, access to some huge elemental moves that completely, like, has infinite coverage can probably actually hit everything in the game for at least neutral damage insane or most of them super effective so yeah insane but yeah but that's basically how to get scorb and its evolutions okay then next up we're going to be Poochrol. i mean you actually saw me get this one a couple of seconds ago yes it is found in this area as well where the drones are although it's a little bit uncommon again i believe it is about one in ten so you have to get kind of lucky to find it, although hopefully not as unlucky as me, it took me forever to find my first one. But yeah, once you actually get it to evolve it, you just need to get to level 26. It's very simple, and also you get yourself a Hunter, which again, kind of cool, metal electric type, kind of really cool. But yeah, again, pretty simple, and now the only one left is the Roamer. Okay, and last but not least is going to be the Roamer, which is also going to require you to do a lot of the storyline. So if you haven't already done the storyline, I'll just give you a quick like rundown on what you have to do. So basically, you want to come down once you're in Seth right, to come all the way down and take a right. This is going to be where the battle feature is, you can tell by that sign up there. Basically, if you go there, they'll start a cutscene, I believe, with Mabel and all of the crew. Once you've done that cutscene, you'll want to then come up and go to the Palute Corp, which will then do another cutscene, which will also take you on a tour of the Palute Corp. And um, also they'll tell you like, hey, this is how we make Lumines and we do all of this stuff. Once you've done that cutscene at the very end of it, you'll actually meet the Battle Theater star, which is why you couldn't actually do it originally because she wasn't in. You'll meet her, she'll actually tell you, okay then, let's go. And then also then you'll go back to the Battle Theater, you'll also complete her Battle Theater challenge, also get the third badge. And then once you're exiting, you'll actually get another cutscene that is actually Jake seeing also what he's been up to while you were taking on the Battle Theater. Once you do that, you want to head over to the Plute Corps again. When you actually get close, Jake will actually run out of this door and he'll hand you a silver um, keycard, which is going to be right here, this Plute Silver Keycard. Also, guys will be chasing him, uh, then basically you'll have access to go through. And then what you want to do is that you're going to go down to the sewers. For the sewers low, as you can tell, uh, right now it's clear for me, but for you there'll be a guard there, and there'll be a yellow like question mark above his head, or a, uh, a chat icon above his head for like a quest. Talk to him, he'll say, hey, I'm kind of hungry, it's been a long day, I kind of want some sushi. So what we want to do then is go back to Sephirite City, and then go to the sushi store, which also I'll quickly show you is right down uh, here and right up here. So the new sushi stick. Talk to the guy in red, he'll now have also have a gold yellow chat icon above his head. He'll say, Hey, here's some dubious um, sushi, which is a cockroach on some rice, I guess. A amazing, I know. Once you've got that item, it'll be a key item. Take it back to the guard in the Plute campus, which will be here. He'll basically say, Oh, nice, I'll eat it. Then I'll say, I'll say it's a cockroach, so he just runs off being sick. Then you can have access to bypass him. There'll be another NPC down here, I'll say, ha, you're not going to get through this stall though, but also you just got the um, keycard from Jake, so you can bypass this uh, keycards area. Again, you can uh, go through this area, there's going to be quite a lot of guards around, so you have to do quite a lot of battles, obviously, so be careful of that. Also, you can find a lot of drones in the wild as well, like I'm going to find right now. You can run away from them to also do the storyline quicker, although I would recommend KOing them, so also you can get the parts to evolve Scorb quicker. Once you've done that low, you want to come over to the Zero Free. That area will be actually locked off. You want to come to the Zero Free area, because you can't actually go into any other dolls, I believe. Once you're in here, there's going to be a little bag here. This blue bag will be like glowing yellow. Click on it, you'll actually then get a gold keycard, 
but A, you basically stole it. So congratulations. So once you've got this key card, then you can actually go ahead to the zero one room. So instead of going to the left side, you actually want to go to the zero one room, which is to the right. So I'll speed this part up to actually get to the zero one. Okay, so once you have the gold key card, you can go through this door. Of course, I encounter a, a scorb right there. That kind of sucks. But yeah, once also you get to here, you can access this room and there'll be three guards in here. Two of them, which are just normal guards, and then one with like a, like a boss guard, I guess. So also you go through, there'll be like two guards standing here. You beat them both up. Also, you got the third one. It's like, oh, um, I've been watching you. Basically, you beat him and then you have the option to press this button, which also if you press yes, it just presses it. If you press no, like 10 times, a rock will magically fall and press the button for you, forcing you to continue. Once you've done that, then that will unlock the areas past that you couldn't go before, the one next to the zero free room. So now we want to go all the way back to continue going through to the depths of this little like underground sewer factory area that's kind of weird so yeah it's also going to speed this part up just like just follow where i go after you've done that again i've already done the, the part so i'm just gonna like try and go over it as quick as possible so you understand because honestly a lot of you probably have done it but yeah but anyway i'm gonna speed this part up again there's gonna be like a couple of guys in here so you're gonna have to battle lows but other than that you can just basically beat them they mostly all have metal type so if you bring a fire type you're probably gonna be really really good so do that or an electric type or an earth type there's quite a lot of types also so just bring at least one of them so you can actually just destroy them and once you get around here this is the last doll the zero five room of course i encounter another drone leave me alone bro please but yeah but once you go through here that'll be where you encounter the um doctor and you actually find out that hey He's not all that good as he seemed to before. And also he has the roamer behind him, which is called, I always forget. It is called, because I don't actually have it on my account right now. Um, it is called Protogon, which also then is trapped in here. Also then, uh, he was brought to life with these crystals. And then it was corruptified with the corrupted like tablet that also isn't there anymore because we took it and teleported it to our dads. Um, so basically you fight it, it's level 33. It's kind of difficult if you're not really prepared. Once you beat it, then it is let go into the wild, and then it is a roaming. Then you can actually find it no matter what patch of grass you're in. It's the same odds as Dusk and Ikazuna. If you don't know what those odds are, it is a thousand with no game pass and boosts, 500 with just the game pass, and it actually has a 125 encounter rate with the game pass and the boost enabled. So that's basically it. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, once you actually do that encounter, you actually get teleported all the way back outside into Separate City. Although, if you actually want an MM, there's actually an MM in here that you have to walk all the way back through like I just did here. But yeah, it's um, Ill Will, I'm pretty sure, is what it's named. So yeah, it's kind of like Sarge from Pokemon. So yeah, definitely worth coming in far if you want that one. So yeah, basically, that's every single Lumion Low. Hopefully it helped. If it did, like I said, make sure to leave a like. It helps the channel a lot. And like always, I'll see you guys next time.